Hi guys, Michael with Armchair Builder and OpenBookBuild.com here. I'm sure you all know by now that there is very little inventory of quality, affordable homes on the market in today's world. And I'm sure some of you are thinking about building your own new home to circumvent this shortage. So today, I would like to give you some insight into what it costs to build a home. By the end of this video, you should know about what it costs to build a home in 2020 as an owner builder on a per square foot basis. So I just finished up building a small, well-appointed ranch home. Our cost for this home was $165,000 and the final cost per square foot will be $100, but that only makes sense if you know what the house looks like. So I'm going to cycle through some images of the home here as I speak with you. Hopefully this will give you a good idea about the level of finishes we used. So keep in mind, I'm giving you the cost of labor and materials to build this structure from the footings all the way through to the final paint. This should allow you to easily compare what it would cost you to build a similar home as an owner builder. So you're seeing the level of finishes in the photos here. Here are a few other important details about this home. The garage is 282 square feet, which is about the same as a one and a half car. The attic storage with lighting, subfloor, and stairs is 580 square feet. Full nine foot deep poured foundation with horizontal and vertical rebar steel reinforcement. Two escape window wells and foundation wall and floor insulation of R10. And rough in plumbing for full basement bath and future finished lower level. The main living area walls are nine foot tall. The kitchen has upgraded shaker plywood box cabinets, full overlay, soft closed doors and drawers, quartz countertops, and a hands-free faucet. The exterior has prefabricated stone on the front with vinyl shake. We've also installed luxury vinyl plank flooring throughout the main living area, and this floor has a lifetime warranty. And a 95% efficient furnace with central air conditioning. So one quick note before we dig deeper into the cost to build. There were a lot more upgrades throughout this home, but I don't want to bore you. If you want to see more of the details, go to openbookbuild.com. So back to the building costs. Hopefully you're getting the idea when I say the home is well appointed. The main living area square footage is 1,119. That's not huge, but definitely not a tiny home. So at $165,000 for labor and materials for this home, that comes out to $147 per square foot. Again, this is for a ranch home with a ready to finish lower level. And when I say ready to finish basement, I mean that some of the $165,000 already went into prepping this lower level for real future finished space. Higher ceilings, rough in plumbing, egress windows, serious waterproofing, radon mitigation, and so on. Everything you'll need to make this basement not feel like a basement when you're ready. I estimate that our DIY future finished basement will be completed for $12,000, adding 650 square feet, two bedrooms, and one bath. This would make the home 1,760 square feet, four bedroom, three bath home for $177,000. And this will give us a price of $100 per square foot. Now I realize that most of you don't live in Cleveland, so we need to adjust the cost for your area. The good news is Cleveland is right at the median when it comes to residential building costs. So here's a list of adjustments needed for some of the cities to get an idea of what your cost could be. So for Atlanta, for example, you would add 9% to our costs to figure out what your cost would be. If your particular location isn't listed here, stop by openbookbuild.com and let me know which location you need a cost adjustment for and I'll get back to you. Hopefully after watching this video, you have a better idea of what to expect for the cost per square foot to build a home with a similar level of quality you saw here. So for more information or to find out how to build the home used in this video, go to openbookbuild.com. If this video was useful, please hit the like button. Thanks.